it's Angela welcome back new angle today um, gonna be working on the be happy so along from Lori Holt um, this is from 2017 so it's a couple years old but <clears throat> I wanted to make it because I think it's adorable and the, my spin is that I'm using batiks and so I thought I would just kind of explain what I'm doing Go through the motions and you can just um, watch uh, week one. This is week three. And I have it broken down by own my own weeks. She did it different weeks. but um, So week one, I did the flag, which is adorable. Last week, I did the tulip block. Also turned out adorable. And today is going to be the pinwheel blocks. And... I want to give you, they're three by threes, that's what they are. So you're going to make eight pinwheel blocks. <clears throat> I have 16 pinwheel blocks. Oh yes, you need two, you need, these squares are three by three. You need two of the color you're going to use and two of the background. Now, I think in her tutorials, she used just plain white, but I'm using white as my background fabric. So I have some just um, low volume ones that I'm going to use. So again, the, you need two of each color. They're three by three and two of each light color or background um, for the pinwheel and what you're going to do <clears throat> is you would put your right sides together and you can either draw a line or I'll show you what I'm going to use you're going to essentially cut corner to corner but you'll need to sew quarter inch from one side of the cut and quarter inch to the other side of the cut so what I am going to use and what she recommends you use is the seam so easy and this is also by Lori Holt and I can it'll be linked below and then you can use um it has, some, it had some stickies on it to hold it down but I use washi tape to hold it down so you'll just line up your corner to this line and your needle be in the middle position and that'll give you the quarter inch and you'll just um like when you have your fabric, you'll do the corner to the one side and then your needle will be in the middle position and these are quarter inch apart, these lines. And then you can just do to the other side. Oops. Yeah, and then you'll flip it and do it to the other side and then cut in the center. And then um, before you press them open, you'll trim it down to two and a half inches, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, two and a half inch. You want them to be two and a half inch squares and you can press them open and then you can put the pinwheel together. So I'm going, oh, I have my walking foot on. And the way this works is you should have lines on your sewing machine near where your feed dogs are that give you your, where your needle middle position is a quarter inch on one side and on the other side. So you'll line this, this middle line up with the line that corresponds to your needle where your needle will be in the middle position. Okay. <clears throat> so like I said, right sides together and then a quarter inch from each quarter inch from each corner to corner I 
on this petal.